17 most impressive legislative buildings around the world. What's up, Taltanic? But this time, now. Assembly Building in Nigeria. The National Assembly Complex of Nigeria is the legislative building that houses the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The construction project was awarded to the architect firm named ITB Nigeria and cost a whopping $35 million to construct. Construction began February 18th of 1996 and was completed in just three years in 1999. Number 16, the Red House of Trinidad and Tobago. In the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, the Red House is the seat of parliament. The original building was destroyed in the 1903 water riots and was rebuilt a few years later in 1907. In the summer of 1990, the building was the site of the Jama'a Mausoleum coup attempt, an event in which the Prime Minister and other members of the government were held hostage for six days. Number 15. The National Assembly Buildings of Cambodia Inside this impressive complex resides the lower house as well as the Cambodian Senate. The series of buildings took five years to construct and was introduced during the Grand Ceremony in 2007. The National Assembly buildings consist of five main buildings with over 300 rooms and three separate meeting halls. Number 14, the Modulus Building in Iran. The Modulus Building, also referred to as the People's Building, is the third building to have housed the Senate of Iran and has been occupied since 2004. Prior to the last move, the assembly has been held in the Baristan from 1906 to 1979 and in a second building in Tehran, Iran from 1980 to 2004. Number 13. The Government Palace in Mongolia Located on the north side of the Chinggis Square, in the capital city of Mongolia sits the Government Palace. The building houses many different entities as well as the offices of the President and the Prime Minister. The lands where the building stands now used to be the famous monastery that was known for its high educational system and the sheer amount of llamas they had on site. They had over 15,000 llamas in 30 llama districts before the area was turned into a government building. Number 12. The National Assembly Building in South Korea The legislative branch of the South Korean national government is housed within the National Assembly Building in Seoul. Before the new building you see today was completed, the South Korean government used the General Government Building. The current building was finished in 1975, and it was occupied as soon as the project was completed. Number 11. The Legislative Palace of Peru The palace building was designed and created by the President Oscar R. Benavides in 1906. The building houses several different aspects of the Peruvian government, including the Chambers of Congress, the Hall of the Law Steps, offices of the Vice President, as well as the President of Congress, among offices of other parliamentary groups. Number 10. The Houses of Parliament in South Africa South Africa's legislature is comprised of the National Assembly and the National Council of Provinces. The buildings you see in Cape Cod are made up of three main sections. One section houses the National Assembly, another houses the Parliament of South Africa, and the last section houses the National Council of Provinces. The Houses of Parliament have been marked as a national heritage site by the South African Heritage Resources Agency. They were awarded with the highest status given by the SAHRA, the Grade 1 National Heritage Status. Number 9. The Parliament House in Australia This building was completed and opened for use in 1988 in the country's capital of Canberra. It is built into the country's Capitol Hill and has a giant Australian flag waving atop its 266-foot flagpole. The interior of the building has more than 4,500 rooms, and many parts of the structure are open to the public all year round. Number 8. The United States Capitol Building in Washington, D.C., United States Located on Capitol Hill, the United States Capitol Building serves as both home to the Senate and the House of Representatives. In 1772, Thomas Jefferson offered a design contest for the Capitol Building, and in the year 1800, the original building was complete. A man named William Thornton won the design contest and used buildings such as the Louvre and the Pantheon as inspiration for his creation. Since its initial build, the iconic landmark has received various modifications and expansions, including the addition of a wedding cake-like dome, which was added in 1855. Number 7. The Palace of Westminster in London, England the Palace of Westminster sits on the River of Thames and consists of several iconic structures. Some like the Elizabeth Tower, which houses Big Ben, attracts both spectators and history buffs alike. 
The palace was reconstructed during the mid-1800s, after the original was destroyed by a massive fire. The work took more than 30 years to complete, but it now has over 1,000 rooms. The UNESCO World Heritage Site is now open to the public, who can come and get a free tour of the House of Parliament, which includes the chambers of both houses, the state rooms, and Westminster Hall. Visitors also have a chance to witness an actual debate, that is, if they time the tour correctly. Number 7. The Parliament Building in Hungary Known as one of the oldest legislative buildings in Europe, the construction of this building began in 1885 and wasn't completed until 1904. A reported 40 million bricks, 90 pounds of gold, and half a million gemstones were used during construction. The building is open to the public as long as the National Assembly is not in session and tours are available for visitors, which give them the chance to see the House of Lords, as well as the Hungarian crown jewels. Number 5. The Center Block in Ottawa, Canada Center Block houses the country's House of Commons, Senate, as well as the Prime Minister's office. Parts of the Center Block's architecture are depicted on Canadian currency, specifically the 10, 20, and $50 bills. The building that you see today is a recreation, since the original was all but completely destroyed in a fire in 1916. The Library of Parliament was the only part of the original building that survived. Number 4. The National Congress Palace in Argentina Located in Buenos Aires, this is one of Argentina's national historic landmarks, the Palace of the Argentine National Congress. The first concept of having a congressional palace was brought about in 1895. Soon after, in 1898, construction of the building began. It was completed in 1906, the same year the building was officially adopted by Congress. For years, the building was used as is, until it began to prove too small for its purpose. So in 1974, construction on an additional part of the building began. The part, which is known as the Annex, now holds deputies' offices. Number 3. The Senate in Cardiff Bay, Wales the Senate was designed to be based on the concepts of openness and transparency. It houses the debating chamber, as well as the committee rooms. The building was designed by the Richard Rogers Partnership and was built by Taylor Woodrow. The Senate used traditional Welsh materials, such as Welsh oak and slate in its construction, although the ceiling was comprised of Canadian source Western Red Cedar. The building was designed to be environmentally friendly, with a rainwater collection system on the roof that is used for flushing the toilets and cleaning windows. By using an earth heat exchange system for heating, as well as using a wind coal on the roof that funnels in natural light and cool air. Number 2. The Christiansborg Palace in Denmark In central Copenhagen, Denmark, sits the gorgeous Christiansborg's Palace. The building is home to the three supreme powers, the executive power, legislative power, and judicial power. It is also the seat of the Danish parliament, houses the Danish prime minister's office, as well as the Supreme Court of Denmark. The Christianborg's palace is the only building of its kind that houses all three branches of a country's government under one roof. Number 1. The Wallenstein Palace in the Czech Republic Construction of the original palace began in 1623 and was commissioned by the Duke of Mecklenburg, Albrecht von Wallstein. The finished product was presented to the public in 1630. Albrecht only lived in the palace for one year, before Emperor Ferdinand II had him assassinated because he feared the power of his mind. After his death, his widow sold the property to his nephew, and the Wallstein Palace remained in the family until 1945. After the conclusion of the Second World War, the house became the property of the Czech Republic, and the estate was renovated to house government offices. Cash, another video complete. If you liked it, go ahead and click this link right here to go to my channel Knowledge Feed for some more videos just like this one. I'll see you next week.